Um, hello, my name is Matthew, and I've been working my way through the Norton Anthology of English Literature, and I read a, a selection from Hydrotaphia Unburial by Sir Thomas Brown. Sir Thomas Brown was a country doctor, a very highly educated country doctor, and Hydrotaphia Urn Burial is a treatise on the burial of urns, but it quickly turns into a meditation on mortality and life and death, death and um, those worries of being forgotten and um, how even with our best attempts building pyramids and monuments, having um, individual lives with fantastical escapades or um, families with long generations, all, all of the things that we can do um, to leave a mark in this world are all in vain. And what kept my attention and what attracted me so much to this, I didn't have any expectations and, and found it very engaging, was just the beauty of the language. Um, it has this ornate, um, long style that I, I just think is fabulous and, and really lyrical and beautiful. I'll, I'll read <clears throat> uh, just one line. I, I just thought it was fantastic. Genera generations pass while some trees stand, and old families last not three oaks. Oak trees. Long families don't last three oak trees. It's fantastic imagery. Uh, it also has um, just tons of historical scholarship. Christian mythologies, pagan mythologies, that he uses as, as examples and comparisons to how so much is forgotten. Um, I'll, I'll say that the, the thing that it reminds me of is uh, the poetry of John Donne, who wrote these uh, meditative poems um, about death and faith and uh, how to reconcile um, really natural concerns that you can have with your own life. But I, I think what makes this a great counterpoint uh, to any of the metaphysical poets where when you read them in your private hours you can kind of wax lyrical about your own mortality. Th this feels um, as as if it's a different attempt to um, consider those thoughts about life and death um, more rationally and in a, in a more logical system. Uh, as, as far as actual advice, um, I, I don't think it's a pragmatic um, essay that will help you relieve those concerns, but it, it, it is just simply beautifully written. Um, <clears throat> his answer is basically faith. Uh, I'll read another portion. Um, Pyramids, arches, obelisks were all but irre irregularities of vainglory and wild enormities of ancient magnanimity. But the most magnanimous resolution rests in the Christian religion, which trampleth upon pride and sits on the neck of ambition, humbly pursuing that infallible perpetuity unto which all others must diminish their diameters and be poorly seen in angles of contingency." So that's a good summation of um, <clears throat> what he's trying to get across is um, no matter w what you build monuments will crumble, but if you're looking for immortality, you will find it in your faith. Um, and something else, uh, I want to read the introduction, the last paragraph that introduces 
uh, Sir, Th Sir Thomas Brown. Like I said, he was a country doctor from uh, Norfolk, Norwich. And this is just the best, um, the best introduction. I, I think it's just so well written and kind of gets your hopes up. It kind of gets you jazzed. Um, he is most at home in the ages of fabulous darkness and in those areas where doubt melts imperceptibly into faith. His perspectives are so long that in the shadow of his pen, even his own age comes to seem mythical and faintly humorous. Under these vast perspectives, the country doctor of Norwich stands among a little group of enlightened skeptics, too humane to accept absolutely any dogma, including the dogma of skepticism, too reverent to think his own mind the measure of mankind, too lively in his curiosity to dismiss even the wildest doctrine without investigation. If that doesn't make you want to read the next portion, I don't know what will. Um, so uh, it's a very small sample, but I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I, I should also mention just how um, approachable of a writer he is. It's a very companionable piece, um, even with the serious nature of the subject. So it's a little essay on mortality and the worry that we have that we're all going to be forgotten. Uh, so let me know if you've read anything by Sir Thomas Brown. Uh, I'd be interested, I think, um, anyway, I'd be interested to read more of them. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like, and thank you for watching.